Good day, gentlemen. Ladies, I regret being thrust upon you in this manner, and hope you will not find my company objectionable, but in any event, I do not anticipate being among you long. I'm not unfamiliar with similar surroundings. I've been in prison many, many times. I have often thought the world a prison, a very cruel one, in which everyone has desires, few of which are fulfilled. What's my game? Am I a cut purse? A highwayman? Nothing so rewarding. I am a poet. A poet of the theater. No, no, no. They are not yet throwing people in prison just for that. We were putting on an entertainment. And how does an entertainment get in trouble with the Inquisition, you may ask? Well, perhaps they discovered that not all entertainments are exactly as they seem. Precisely! Reality! A stone prison! But poetry! Poetry requires imagination, and with imagination, you may discover a dream. You accuse me of being an idealist, an honest man, and a bad poet. I must confess to being an idealist, I've never had the courage to believe in nothing. A bad poet, that comes a little bit more harshly to the ears. And an honest man? If you've no objection, I should like to continue in the manner I know best. In the form of a charade. An entertainment, if you will. <laughs> then, with your kind permission, allow me to set the stage. I will impersonate a man. Imagine him with me. His name, Alonso Quijana, a country gentleman, no longer young. Being retired, he has much time for books. He studies them from morn till night and often through the night till morn again. All he reads oppresses him and fills him with indignation at man's murderous ways towards man. He ponders the problem, how to make better a world in which evil brings profit and virtue none at all. Where fraud, malice, and deceit mingle with truth and sincerity. He broods and broods and broods and broods and broods and broods until finally his brains dry up. He lays down the melancholy burden of sanity and conceives the strangest project ever imagined to become a knight errant and sally forth to roam the world in search of adventures, to right all wrongs to mount a crusade, to raise up the weak and those in need. He convinces his neighbor, Juan Sancho Panza, a poor country laborer and an honest man, to be his squire, and he selects an aging cart horse named Rosinante to be his faithful steed and safeguard of his master's will. These preparations made, he takes his lance in hand. No longer will he be plain Alonso Quijana, but a dauntless knight known as Don Quixote de la Mancha. You say I should see life as it is. I've lived for over 40 years and I've seen life as it is. Pain, misery, cruelty beyond belief. I've heard all the voices of God's noblest creature. I've heard the singing from the taverns and the moans from bundles of filth huddled in the street. I've been a soldier and a slave. I've seen my comrades fall in battle or die more slowly under the lash in Africa. I've held them in my arms at the last moment. These were men who saw life as it is. 
yet they died despairing. No glory, no brave last words. Only their eyes filled with confusion. Questioning why. I do not think they were asking why they were dying, but why they had ever lived. When life itself seems lunatic, who knows where madness lies? Perhaps to be too practical is madness. To surrender dreams, this may be madness. To seek treasure, where there is only trash. Too much sanity may be madness. But maddest of all, to see life as it is, and not as it should be. <laughs> 